Hey, what's up guys, it's Kazooie here, and welcome to episode number 25 of Skilling to Glory, where in today's episode, we are going to be showing you guys a little bit of Weekend League preparation, because in tomorrow's video, and also the next one after, um, I will be showing you guys my Weekend League highlights from the past weekend. So um, yeah, if you're looking forward to that as well, then make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the notification bell as well for more videos. And uh, yeah, if you wanna see things earlier than on the YouTube channel, then make sure to head on over to my Facebook page, fb.gg slash kazooie94. I pretty much stream there daily. So um, yeah, if you could, uh, you know, drop a follow on there, it would be very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, make sure to follow me on my social media as well. So um, you pretty much know what is going on when I'm going live and all that kind of good stuff. So in the background, you can see me completing an objective, which was the Silver Beasts objective. Um, all you had to do really was, I think, play a couple of games against squad battles on professional, and you were able to get a rare mega pack, which was uh, kind of nice, you know? Um, I think it was untradeable, or actually, no, I think it was tradable, actually. And um, yeah, you can see me actually trying to get some more XP as well as with one of the uh, season objective rewards, uh, we were able to get a rare gold pack as well. And I think we were like 150 XP away. So I decided to do a quick um, a quick objective uh, to get some more XP and we were able to get that rare gold pack as well. We also were able to uh, get a couple of 75 plus packs. Now I've seen quite a few people actually getting some really good players from those packs. So let me know in the comments down below if you actually are one of those lucky guys. Um, someone on Twitter, who I do follow, um, actually packed Van Dyke recently, which is pretty crazy. Um, I think in one of my final packs here, you can see that we actually got a Borch player, Lacazette. Again, I was sort of hoping to maybe see that PSG, uh, that PSG badge, but um, yeah, it was Arsenal. A couple of years ago, I would have been really happy with Lacazette, as uh, back then he was very usable, but unfortunately this year, he just doesn't really seem to be, um, you know, that kind of striker anymore, especially looking at his pace, which is a big shame. And um, yeah, he obviously has that um, that seasoned player as well, which you can get uh, once you have uh, like reached level, what is it, level 30? So um, yeah, who knows, I might be going for him, but I've been thinking about just a little bit. I, I'm actually thinking of maybe going with uh, Sabitzer because he also links to Mukiele. And I've said in the past before that I kind of want to try to make a team around him as well. So uh, you could have seen me as well, um, you know, looking at my team and also looking at a certain French player, which was Ferlon Mendy. Now, um, I think at this point we were sitting on 140K. Um, a couple episodes ago, I obviously opened my rewards. And last week, I didn't really play anything else apart from the friendly modes, which you could have seen in the previous episodes as well. As well, So I was thinking of maybe, you know, upgrading my team a little bit. But um, at the time, I decided not to splash the cash on Ferlan Mendy because I thought, you know, it just wasn't worth it for an 83 rated player. I always, like I'm the type of guy, and I don't think I'm the only one. I think that most of you guys might be in a similar situation. That whenever I buy a player, which is like a lot of coins, I'll give you a couple examples in a, in, a, in a second. Whenever I buy a player, which is a lot of coins, they always seem to drop instantly. Now, I had a, I think a situation with Firmino, I think somewhere last week, where I sold him, bought him back. And right now he's like 60k and I bought him for 120k. So, you know, that's just something that always is in the back of my mind whenever I buy like a specific player, which is like worth a lot of coins. But um, yeah, I decided in the end not to uh, not to splash the coins just yet on Mendy. But um, you can see we uh, you can see that we actually decided to play some rivals games, a little bit of weekend league preparation, and I also decided to kind of test out one of the players we packed recently, which was Ben Yedder. Now you could have seen in uh, this game especially that he missed two big sitters, so um, yeah, his kind of debut um, for me anyway as a substitute. Uh, even though I did use him, I think, a few times in friendlies. But his debut in Rivals wasn't necessarily the best. Uh, he missed two sitters. So that was, uh, you know, maybe a little bit unlucky. But you know how it goes sometimes in FIFA. Sometimes you uh, you just miss those easy chances. And sometimes you score really nice goals. Just like we did there with Firmino. Although, I think at the time, right there, this is the next game. My opponent wasn't playing or something happened. I'm not fully sure. But uh, straight after that, he uh, managed to get himself back into the game. Straight away, really. Uh, he was a pretty good player as well. Was very patient when it came to, you know, trying to find the right space 
and um, you know getting getting his chances basically. And um, yeah, he made it two two before halftime. And in the seventy eighth minute, um, he's on the wing there with Saint Maximin, a fake shot. And then I tried to block his uh, his pass there, which I think was meant to be for Havertz, but we gave away a silly penalty. It was just, I think, dumb timing, really, from my side. And, um, yeah, we gave away a penalty. But luckily, luckily, he hit the crossbar with uh, Paul Pogba, meaning we ended up drawing this game. And uh, you can see from the stats that uh, all in all, it was a pretty, you know, pretty even game. So, uh, next game we go. We come up against someone who is rocking that Rashford and also that um, red inform Zaha, who I would love to still try out at some point. But um, he's still a little bit too expensive for my liking. But um, who knows when he drops in price. Might give him a shot as well. And um, yeah, my opponent got himself the early lead, I think, which Obama Young. I've said it many times before in Ultimate Team or in, uh, in Skill into Glory. He's one of the, honestly, in my eyes anyway, one of the worst players to come up against uh, in FUT. He is just so fast and so clinical in front of goal. And um, yeah, he was 2-1 up. Then uh, I tried, you know, trying to beat the goalkeeper there with the ball roll sombrero, which has happened a couple of times before, but unfortunately it didn't work out that way. But then in the 74th minute, again, one of the substitutes, um, uh, ben Yedder there making the 2-2, I think, getting his first goal um, for the club. An important one as well as we uh, ended up drawing that game as well. I think just before that, we missed a sitter as well with Promes. So um, we maybe could have won that game. But again, the opponent was a very, you know, heavy-based possession player. So whenever we had our chances, we just had to be very clinical. And we kind of were, as we only had two proper shots, I think. The next game we go, we start off amazingly. Very nice run with Dembele. A little bit of luck, but then look at the finish. And look at the way, like, Manuel Neuer behaved as well. So weird. I mean, I've, I've explained as well in, um, I think, the ball roll sombrero uh, tutorial. The ball roll sombrero flick tutorial. That goalkeepers, like, behave really weirdly at times. And again, very similar situation where it was just a normal flare shot, really, with Dembele. And um, yeah, I don't know what Neuer was thinking there, but um, yeah, he decided to do a weird animation. And uh, yeah, we scored a very nice goal. And that was basically the only like really nice goal we were able to score in this game. We had a couple more chances, one with the pie where we basically missed the sitter, which I think was from a volley. And then towards the end, we got ourselves another chance here with the pie. Good save from his keeper this time. And then from a short corner, you can see from the minutes as well, in the top left-hand corner, we're already in the fourth minute of extra time. Even though it was only plus one, um, we got a penalty. He got himself a red card as well, which we uh, put into the back of the net with Memphis, making it 2-0, and that's how that game ended as well. So next up, once again, we come up against another pretty strong team. A bit of a Premier League side as well, with, I think, once again, that uh, Aubameyang. Young. And um, we start off nicely, really nice play there between uh, Dembele, Firmino and also Memphis. But a very good reflex there from his goalkeeper. Um, I think that uh, if uh, Firmino just, you know, shot it into a corner, it definitely would have gone in. Because we just sh shot it straight at him. Then we missed another sitter with Memphis, which usually is just a goal, little direction on that back. But then um, from that, he made a mistake. And then you can see right there that the ball roll sombrero actually worked out this time with Riyad Mahrez. Honestly, one of the most underrated players this year. Uh, a lot of people tend to not really use him because of his uh, because of his pace. It's only 83. But it's dribbling, man. And even his, his finesse shots on his uh, left foot, they are seriously perfect. So uh, we score a beautiful goal there with him to make it 2-0. And then on the stroke of halftime, he plays a through ball to Aubameyang. I couldn't catch up. He went for the chip. And then uh, you can see as well that my goalkeeper Courtois was able to uh, to save it. Could have been <laughs> some goal to uh, to concede. Then into the second half we go once again. Ball roll sombrero past I think Joe Gomez there with Memphis. Lovely finish, making it uh, three there, and uh, we do get a rage quit. The next game we go a little bit of a different side compared to the usual kind of Premier League team you usually come up against. And uh, we faced that Anderson Taliska, which is, of course, one of the rule breaker SPCs EA put out recently. And um, I've heard from a lot of people that he is very difficult to play against. Um, I, I don't know why, but, you know, I think it's just because of his body type. He's very tall. He's pretty strong on the ball. Pretty quick as well. Has the four-star skills. Good dribbling. So, um, yeah, I had some difficulties as well in this game against him as he already got himself the early goal. But we got a really nice finish there. Uh, to make it 1-1. And one thing I really noticed in this game is that his his you know his goalkeeper movement was something that he did every single time. And um, I just had to be patient in front of goal. You can see really nice through ball there from uh, Wijnaldum. And um, yeah, I stayed very calm there. Just wait for him to, you know, move his keeper. 
and then uh, find the right corner to get us the goal. So we were 2-1 up. And we got ourselves another chance here with Firmino, where again some goalkeeper movement kind of denied us the goal there. But then minutes later, lovely La Croqueta there from Firmino to a Waka Waka to a really nice finish, making it 3-1. You can see from the replay here as well, really nice uh, skill move there to beat the defender. And a great finish from the Brazilian. And then uh, before halftime, Memphis with some great stuff. This time he plays it through ball to Wijnaldum. And right there, I wanted to, you know, kind of rainbow flick him. But you can see as well from the replay that, um, again, a beautiful through ball, by the way. He, again, you know, kept moving his goalkeeper. And even at the split second there at the end, he was in the right corner. But luckily, um, it, uh, it still went in. And then we go into the second half, the already the, the 88th minute. Made some changes, uh, brought on some fresh players. <clears throat> I tried my best. To, uh, you know, maybe score like a crazy skill run. But um, we ended up getting fouled there. We picked up the penalty. And it was the other substitute, Quincy Promes, who slotted home. Made it 5-1. So, um, yeah, so far, anyway, on the Thursday. Uh, this was recorded and played on the Thursday. Um, you know, went really well. I think we played, I think at this point, four games in a row or something. Or five to six games. I'm not fully sure. And my aim at the time was actually to play all 30 on the Thursday. But um, I couldn't be bothered because I just felt it probably would drain me uh, too much, um, especially going into the weekend league. So I decided not to do it. But uh, you can see here that we unfortunately lost the game. Um, this was one of the games where my footage completely messed up. You can see as well that the quality isn't really the best. But this game was really frustrating as I, as I think we were 2-1 down. We got tackled from behind with Ben Yedder, which usually is a red card. Referee gave a yellow, um, he ended up scoring, I think the 4-1, we got ourselves back to 4-2, but unfortunately ended up losing that game. Meaning, we were a little bit, you know, a little bit um, further off Division 1. I was really hoping to reach Division 1 on Thursday, but um, unfortunately that didn't happen. So um, yeah, after that loss, I decided to um, actually look at some of the SPCs. As, um, yeah, there were some packs available, which uh, are pretty, you know, pretty worth it if you, you know, look at the amount of uh, players you need to uh, to put in. Uh, I think there was like a rare mixed players pack that we were able to get from a specific SBC. I think a Champions League SBC. And then I decided to take a look at the UEFA Marquee Matchup SBC as well, which was the Olympique Lyon versus Manchester City one. Just put in some untradeable players and the same goes for the Juventus versus Barcelona one just a bunch of players that I just had in my club from uh, untradeable packs really and um, yeah we managed to get quite a few packs so I decided to once again take a look at some more SPCs we had the regular marquee matchups um, for this one I'm not showing you guys the teams because you know it's just a little bit boring just showing you guys uh, the players that I put in they were just you know your usual players that you would usually put in so I think we had a total of nine packs to open. Just going to show you guys the packs only to make it a little bit quicker. Uh, unfortunately, not the best packs. But then in the third pack, in our premium gold players pack, I think it is, we got a boards player, a walkout as well. Portuguese, not striker, not Cristiano Ronaldo. But it was a right winger from Manchester City, Bernardo Silva, who in my eyes looks very, very similar to uh, Riyad Mahrez. Not the quickest, very good dribbling. And uh, of course, is a lefty on the right wing. Would love to use him, but since he only has four-star skills, in my eyes anyway, he deserves five stars. He's a very skillful player in real life. Um, I decided, I think, to sell him on eventually. And now uh, you can see in the next packs as well, they unfortunately were not the best. Just a bunch of players which we, uh, once again, can use in potential marquee matchups or in any, like, gold upgrade SPCs or whatever, really. Then in our final pack, the rare mixed players pack, we did once again get a walkout, which was going to be an Austrian player from Leipzig. It can, of course, only be one player. It is uh, Sabitzer there, who also has that... Um, that card you can get uh, when you reach level 30 at the end of the season. And um, I said at the beginning of this episode that I might be thinking of getting him. Um, I said, I think, a couple episodes ago that I was thinking of getting getting Bernat. But since there is like a rule breaker left back now, Kamara, I think, I might be just getting uh, thinking of getting him instead since he gets the strong link to uh, Mukiele, which, uh, you know, could be a really nice combination 
for like an untradeable team. But um, you can see as well from the rest of the players, just a couple silver players. I was just checking if they were uh, going for anything really. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the end, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. As I said at the start of the video, uh, there will be some Weekend League highlights coming for you guys in tomorrow's episode. We'll most likely split it again in two videos. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. But uh, anyway, as I said, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you, of course, did, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell as well for more videos. Check out my Facebook page, fb.gg slash kazooie94. And uh, that's the end. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.